Good afternoon. Hello, everyone. Can you hear me well? Hello, people. Good afternoon. Hello, Carlita. Good afternoon, teacher. Good afternoon. Okay. Good afternoon, teacher. Good afternoon, Tatiana. How are you? Hello, Byron. Tulma, Brisecha, Claribel. Welcome to the class. Okay, guys, it's um, already time to start. So let me present to you the presentation, the class activities that we have for today. So it's class number two. Can someone tell me what day is today? Let's see if you remember the days of the week. Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot to change this. So what day is today? Can somebody tell me the day of the week? Uh-huh. Good afternoon, hello. Hello, good afternoon. Today is Thursday. Okay. Today is Tuesday. Uh -huh. Tuesday. Tuesday, January 18th. 18th. Okay. Tuesday, you can write it in your notebook, right? Tuesday, January 18th. 2022, 2022, yes, January. Okay. Good, so all present statements. Okay, so we, I, I guess you already know about it. Creo que ya saben sobre esto. Pero igual lo vamos a aprender hoy. Siempre, nunca está de más mejorar. Okay? So, lesson objectives. By the end of this class, you will be able to make simple present statements using regular verbs. Agenda. Recalling previous knowledge, activity two, bird race, activity three, practice time, activity four, wrap up. So let's start with activity number one, recalling previous knowledge. Yesterday, what we were, uh, what were we talking about yesterday in the class? What was the vocabulary topic? Transportation. Exactly, transportation, a means of transportation. So now guys, here you are going to uh, practice in groups. You will discuss the questions. For example, we have these questions. We have, how do you get to the shopping mall? And this is an example of answer. I get to the shopping mall by Uber. Do you have a car? You can say, yes, I do, or no, I don't. Can you drive? Yes, I can. No, I can't. Can you ride a motorcycle or bicycle? Yes, I can. No, I can't. Does someone in your family walk to work? Yes, and you can say, my sister or my brother walks to work every day. Or you can change instead of walk, you can say that someone in your family drive to work or that someone in your family takes the bus, etc. So these are the questions that you are going, questions and 
example of answers, right, that you will use in your discussions. Ya las pegué ahí en, en el chat para que ahí las tengan, ¿verdad? Entonces, vamos a ir a los break rooms y vamos a speaking practice, speaking practice and vocabulary, okay? So, um, let me assign you and please speak and practice. Hola Carlita, la había movido, fíjese a otra salita. Pero eh, sí, esa estaba viendo. ¿Usted estaba en la número uno? Con Evelyn. Sí, y... en la sala número uno. Oh, ya la voy a mandar a la uno otra vez. Sí. <risa> Perdón. <risa> Bye. Okay. Byron, are you there? Hello. Hello, Byron. Do you have problems? No, teacher. I just went right in. Ay, mire. Perdón, Carlita. Este. Me equivoqué. No vi a alguien más. A quien no era. Lo siento. Vaya, entonces, Carlita, usted trabaja con Byron. Eh, Vaya las preguntas, please. Este, las, las que manden el chat. Bueno, para bueno, sí. las puedo compartir, creo, la pantalla. Vaya. Entonces sería. Se fue Bayro. No, ahí está Bayro. Ah. How do you get to this shopping Aquí mall? Está. And How well, get I, get a, I get to the Si me escucha. Yes, I am listening. Hola. Uh, well, Hello. Well, I get to the shopping mall by bus sometime and I get to the shopping mall uh, by a car. 
is and you, in a car. How do you get to the shopping mall? I get to the I drive I get to drive my car. I get to my do you have a car? No yes I do. Do you have a car? Yes I do. Can you drive? No, I don't. No, I can't. And can you ride a motorcycle or bicycle? No, I no can't. No, motorcycle or bicycle? Um, motorcycle. No, no, sir. And bicycle, yes. Um, Yes, I can. Hola. Hello. Sorry, I have a problem. But yes, I can. Yes, I can. Oh. Well, and does someone in your family walk to work? Yes. Yes, my cousin walks into to the work. Every day. Do someone in your family walk to work? Yes, my family walks to work every day. Okay, thank you. Thank you for the practice. Okay, so um, after that, now we continue with the topic, which is the simple present. And for that, we need verbs, we need the actions. So we have this activity, the verb trait. So type, oops, sorry, not only it's in. Type in the chat as many words in English, in English as you can remember. Okay, so right now in the chat, I want to see everybody typing as many verbs in English as you can remember, okay? Verbs, verbs. In the chat, for example, clean. Or maybe we can do some, okay, dream. Yeah, nice. Write and read. Thank you, Risaida. Run, walk, sleep by, oh, yes, read. read. Walk, wash. Sleep, play. <laughs> Bye. Learn, study. I speak, listen. Also, right? Can you cook? Also have dance, nice, right? <laughs> Sing, right? Please No, okay. <clears throat> the word dress, the word attend, the word arrive. Swim. 
Get dressed. Get dressed. Uh -huh. Cut. 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 Keep. Make. Cut. Make. More verbs, more verbs. Go. Do. Okay. Buy, comprar y vender. Sell. Eat. Stop. Get up. Wake up. Iron. Planchar. Iron. Win. Ganar. Okay. Open. Close. Chat. Sí. Okay. Brush, yes, that's important to brush your teeth. Think, pensar, think. Teach, what I'm doing in this moment. Okay, nice. So now after this, let's continue with the next part of the class. So now, in the in this activity, we have a simple present. What is the, the structure for simple present? We have the subject, the verb, and the complement. For example, in the complement. Yes, we have here the affirmative, interrogative, and negative. But right now, we are going to focus in affirmative and negative. So as you can see, it's just the subject and the verb, and that's a sentence. Yes. Subject and verb is a sentence. But you can also have a complement, but this is optional. For example, I work, you work, he works, she works, she works. works, we work. You work, we work, they work, you work, they work. In the negative form, we just have to write don't or do not. Okay, eso sí no lo puse aquí, pero vamos a poner. Okay. In the negative form, it's the same. We just put subject plus don't. Or if it's the person doesn't, right? Doesn't the, plus the verb. Plus the complement. Right? Okay, so we have the subject. Donor Nassen plus the verb. That's the complement. Okay? It's in the negative form. Okay, I don't work. You don't work. He doesn't work. She doesn't work. It doesn't work. We don't work. You don't work. They don't work. Okay. And in the question form, the only thing is that the auxiliary goes first. Primero el auxiliar, 
Luego el sujeto y por último el verbo. Do I work? Does, he work? Does he work? Does she work? Does it work? Do we work? Do you work? Do they work? But we are going to study this in the future class, okay? So right now, let's focus on affirmative and negative. So remember, I, this is another word. Third person, he, she, and it. Place, we add the S to the verb. We add is or yes or I can depending on the word and second and third and first person plural it's the same play you play we play they play. only he and it you are going to add the end. Okay. Vamos a ver, hacer algunos ejemplos. Vale, entonces, vamos a ver. If I have, vamos a preguntarle a alguien. Ahí se escucha un poco de una televisión. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm going to ask someone. Let me see. Ana. Ana, can you tell me, Ana, one word, please? Me, teacher? Yes, Anna. Uh, can you repeat me the question, please? Yes, if you listen. can give me one verb, please. Oh, bye. Bye. Yes. Comprar. Okay. <clears throat> so we're going to <clears throat> create sentences using these verbs. For example, I buy X. In the supermarket. Hmm. Compro huevos en el supermercado. I buy eggs in the supermarket. <clears throat> okay. Now with you, it would be you. <clears throat> you buy. You buy expensive cell phones. Right? Tu compras teléfonos muy celulares muy caros. You buy expensive cell phones. Now, if I say he, ¿cómo sería aquí? Buys. Exactly. He buys. He buys. He buys. He buys his food or he buys his lunch in the cafeteria. Okay, what about she? She buys. She buys. Exactly, she buys. She buys. Uh -huh. Tell me. She buys. Her. She buys the tortillas. In the neighborhood. Okay. She buys the tortillas in the neighborhood. Compra las tortillas en, en el vecindario. 
Okay? Eat. Imagine it is a dog, but, bueno, un perrito no compra. Entonces, podemos, or, play. play. Okay, we can use the verb play. Eat. O si es una compañía, una empresa, se puede comprar, ¿verdad? Entonces podemos poner. The company buys. Igual pondríamos la S porque estamos hablando de algo que es singular en tercera persona. The company buys. A lot of. A lot of. Let's say a lot of toilet paper every month, right? La compañía o la empresa compra mucho papel higiénico cada mes. The company buys a lot of toilet paper every month, right? So it's because the, the employees uses a lot of toilet paper. <laughs> the employees use a lot of toilet paper. Okay, what about we? We? We are by. Okay, we buy, we buy, we buy our books in the school. Compramos los libros en la escuela. Nuestros libros en la escuela. And they, they buy, they buy bread in the new baker. Ellos compran pan. En la nueva panadería. They buy bread in the new bakery. So as you can see, <clears throat> it's very easy. Subject, the verb, and the complement, right? And third person, he, she, and it, we add the S to the verb. And that's it. It's only that. Les voy a mandar esto al grupo de WhatsApp para que lo tengan ahí. ¿Verdad? Como sé que tenemos poco tiempo de clase, tenemos que correr un poquito, ¿verdad? Así que al grupo para que ustedes ahí lo repasen, your review, también pueden copiarlo con más tranquilidad. Ya les va a llegar. Se me había olvidado entrar al WhatsApp <risa> desde mi computadora. Permítanme un momento, give me one second. Ahora, ¿qué van a hacer ustedes? Van a elegir un verbo, uno, y van a hacer lo mismo que yo acabo de hacer. ¿Verdad? Ok, trabajemos en eso. Please.
Thank you for all who sent the homework. Thank you so much for sending the homework. Okay. Okay, did you finish? What about to finish? A ver, ¿cómo vamos? Okay, but you say that. <laughs> okay, I'll give you a little bit more time. When you finish, you can send me a picture. Okay, Byron, thank you. Oh, yes, yeah. so or you can put it in the chat so we cannot read it. I eat chicken in the lunch, she eats pasta in the dinner, he eats beans and eggs in the breakfast, she eats banana in the afternoon, the cat eats meat, we eat pork in the lunch, they eat eggs in the morning. Okay, Byron, good job. He used the verb eat. He eats, she eats, and the cat eats. <laughs> okay, thank you. I read it, teacher. Okay, Briseida. Thank you. Nice. Can, do you want to share with the class, Briseida? 
Ah, okay, teacher. Teacher, fábrica. Factory. Factory. Yes, factory. Thank you. You're welcome, Mr. Martinez. Anna, I read a newspaper. You read a letter. He reads an email in the computer. She reads a commercial. The supermarket reads the rules. We read instructions in the college. They read a book. I drink much water. You drink alcohol. But he say that you drink? You don't need to put the S. Yes. Okay? Only drink. You drink alcohol. He drinks coffee with milk. That's my husband. <laughs> she drinks cold soda. The dog drinks remedy. <laughs> we drink wine in interview. Tomamos vino en la entrevista. Wow. <laughs> they drink orange juice. <laughs> okay. I am trying to check your your conversations. Okay, very good. I run in the park, you run in the house. He runs, Claribel. He runs in the park. She runs in the school. The dog runs in the park. They run on the street. I clean my house, you clean the garden. He cleans sin apostrophe. Zulma, sin apostrofe. He cleans your car. ¿El limpia el carro de él o él limpia tu carro? She cleans her toy. Ella limpia sus juguetes. Él limpia su carro. His car. He cleans his car. We clean the motorcycle, they clean the floor. Okay, nice. <laughs> okay, very good. But I mean, uh, now guys, I want to explain something very important. <clears throat> en vez de he, yo puedo cambiar y puedo poner, por ejemplo, Juan. Juan, que era, estábamos, teníamos he, ¿verdad? Que es él, pero yo puedo poner el nombre de, de un hombre, de un él, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, Juan buys his lunch in the cafeteria. Instead of she, yo puedo cambiar she y puedo poner my mom. My mom. My mom buys tortillas in the neighborhood, right? And we, yo puedo cambiar también y puedo decir, puedo decir, my children and, no, vamos a poner otra cosa. 
Eh, my brothers and I. My brothers and I buy our books in the school. Mis hermanos y yo compramos los libros en la escuela. Y en day, yo puedo cambiar aquí. Y puedo poner Evelyn and Ruth buy bread in the new bakery. Evelyn y Ruth compran, compran pan en la, en la nueva panadería. And I'm using it's day, porque estamos hablando de ellas, ¿verdad? Evelyn y Ruth, ellas. <clears throat> I call more chats, for example. <clears throat> si comprenden eso, que puedo sustituir el, el pronombre... Por un nombre propio. Bueno. <coughs> eh, yo creo que Juan quería. Él, eh, quería usar market como comprar. Pero Juan market en inglés. Como verbo es de marketing, de publicidad. Entonces aquí sería I buy, como yo compro. You buy fruit in the supermarket. Y es para, para vender y no es vender marketing. Ah, para vender es Sale. Sale. Ajá. Ah, Porque el market... Vale, voy a hacer otra vez. Solo el verbo va a cambiar. Porque market es hacer publicidad. ¿Verdad? Como marketing. Evelyn, I study English, he studies. Vale. En el caso de studies, le voy a cantar la Y y le pondré I, E, S. He studies. ¿Verdad? Carmen Stadis. Así. Ok. Ya ven que aprendemos mucho cuando compartimos. Porque así podemos pues, ir corrigiendo, ir aprendiendo todos. Muy bien. Ahora, yo quiero hacer algo. Quiero convertir estas oraciones en negativo. Entonces, ¿qué voy a hacer? A ver... Que alguien me ayude, que alguien me diga qué voy a hacer. In this case, add the don't and that's. Excellent. Bye. Entonces sería, I buy eggs in the supermarket. I don't buy eggs in the supermarket. Okay, you. You don't buy egg. you don't buy cell phones, you don't buy expensive cell phones. Ahora aquí en Juan, yo voy a poner doesn't. El auxiliar es does para la tercera persona, doesn't. Pero el verbo ya no llevaría la S. ¿Por qué? Porque ya, lo, ya el auxiliar does not or doesn't tells me that it's in the third person singular. Ya está aquí, ¿verdad? En doesn't en el auxiliar. Entonces igual aquí le quito la S a buys. My mom doesn't buy the tortillas in the neighborhood. She makes the tortillas. She doesn't buy them. She makes them. Right? The company, aquí sería, doesn't buy, doesn't buy, elimino la S. My brothers and I don't, don't buy our books in school. Evelyn and Ruth don't, don't buy bread in the new bakery. They prefer the old bakery. 
¿Ok? So this is the negative form. ¿Qué van a hacer ustedes? The same sentences, but now you're going to make them in the negative form. Okay, las mismas oraciones, solo que ahora es negative. In the negative form, please. ¿Ok? Please. Ok, teacher. And you can also put it in the chat. Finished. Ella limpia su cuarto en inglés, por favor. Okay, who is finished? Uh -huh, we had the first. Tenemos a... I don't drink much water, you don't drink alcohol, he doesn't drink coffee with meal, she doesn't drink cold soda, the dog doesn't drink. We don't drink wine, the interview that I drink orange juice. Okay, the dog doesn't. Hey, I don't listen to music in English. You don't listen to music often. Jamie doesn't listen to rock. Elena doesn't listen to romantic. The cat doesn't listen to funny music. We don't, we don't listen to bachata music. They don't listen to the birds. So oh, great, very good. Wow, it's 1.52. Can you imagine? And I had a lot of more activities that we can do together. I don't eat chicken in the lunch. You don't eat pasta. He doesn't eat beans. 
she doesn't need banana, the cat doesn't need, so we don't need pork and they don't need eggs. Excellent, Byron. Very good. Okay, guys, I will send you a couple of links in which you can practice. Como ya no tuvimos tiempo en clase para hacerlos, los van a hacer de tarea. Estos dos links son de ejercicios en línea, los hacen, pueden tomarle foto, captura de pantalla, screenshot, y me los mandan. Cuando ya lo hayan terminado, ¿verdad? Mañana vamos a seguir con la otra parte. También se los voy a mandar en el... Ah, bueno, me hablamos a Evelyn. I don't clean my room. You don't close the door. He doesn't work every day. She doesn't clean the shoes. They doesn't. They doesn't or they don't. They don't buy the bread. Okay. They don't buy bread. Okay. We don't have money. <laughs> Good. Teacher, una consulta. Dígame. En el caso del verbo estar, me dijo que se le agregaba ese cuando estábamos haciendo el ti el chi, ¿verdad? Porque se le agregaba la S al verbo. Sí. Pero ahora que lo estamos haciendo en forma negativa, ya no se le hace con el S. No, sería, por for example, she doesn't study. Study. Which one? Uh -huh. Normal. El verbo es normal. Porque el auxiliar ya nos indica que es tercera persona. Cada vez que usemos el auxiliar, lo mismo pasa en las preguntas. Cuando usamos auxiliar, el verbo no cambia. El verbo siempre va a estar en su forma base. Uh -huh. Gracias. You're welcome, Evelyn. Vamos a ver a Juan Martínez. I don't sell nothing in the supermarket. You don't sell fruit. Mario doesn't sell shoes. Julia doesn't sell underwear in the web. <laughs> the factory doesn't sell raw material every month. We don't sell our supplements in the cleaning. Luis and Jose don't sell tables in the Excellent, Mr. Martinez. It's perfect. I don't run in the park. You don't run. He doesn't run. She doesn't run. And we don't run. Okay, very good, Claribel. Vale, entonces les quedan los dos de tarea. Y antes de irnos, entonces... Bueno, de hecho, creo que uno de estos es los del que voy a dar. This is going to be the wrap up. So right. Va, este es uno que les he mandado allí, que lo van a hacer. Bueno, cuando terminen de hacer el ejercicio, uno de los enlaces los va a enviar acá. Like worksheets, hacen los ejercicios. When you finish, you click on this. And then... Check answers. No enviar respuestas. No, 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 no. Sino comprobar mis respuestas. Check my answers. Y les va a dar una nota. Eso es lo que quiero que screenshot. You take a screenshot or you can take a picture and then you send it to me. Me lo mandan al grupo, ¿ok? You're sending in the group that you have done the exercise. De que usted ha hecho el ejercicio. Y este... Es un es el ejercicio que queríamos hacer. Lo vamos a hacer acá. Pero igual usted también lo puede hacer y mandármelo. Por ejemplo, expose the sentences and questions in order. We have to order the words to make a correct sentence. In this case, it would be I. ¿Verdad? I, I no sé qué pasó aquí. I. Go. I go, go to school. Arrastro, miren, arrastro. I go to school by bus. Excelente. Y no dice que está correcto. I go to school by bus. Next. Peter, porque siempre vamos a empezar con el sujeto. Peter. Peter doesn't. Peter like, does, ajá, like cooking. A Peter le gusta cocinar. Peter doesn't like cooking. This is a question. And the question starts with a question word. Where? Empieza con where. Where does. Y luego va el sujeto. 
¿Cuál sería el sujeto? Your, your friend. Your friend. Where does your friend live? Where does your friend live? ¿Dónde vive tu amigo? Where does your friend live? How can I, what is the order of this question? Do. Okay, first, do. Do you study English? Excellent, you say that. Do you study English? Of course I do. And I love studying English. Aha, empezamos con el sujeto. I. Do. I do? No, I don't. Ah, I don't. I mm -hmm. don't. Esa cosa no, no me agarra. Va, ahí está. I don't. Do. I don't do. No hago. I don't do. Exercise. Exercise in the morning. Exactly. In the morning. I don't I do it. Don't do. Morning. I wake up so late. <laughs> I don't do it. We wash. We wash fine. At. We watch films and series at um, night. Oops. What, what do you want? What? Do. What do you do in your free time? No. What does What does What does she? She yeah. What does she free time in her do? No. What does she do? ¿Qué hace ella? What does she do in, What does she do? in her free time? Free time. ¿Qué hace ella en su tiempo libre? What does she do in her free time? Acuérdense primero el sujeto. First the subject. The subject is my friend. My friends usually usually go. My friends and I go. Amigos y yo, yeah. My friends and I usually go. This was go está casado con el bar. Go to a bar on Saturday night. And the last one. I, I, go, I go to the beach. To In the morning. Vaya sería, in the morning, in the summer morning, en, el ver, en, el, en, una mana, en, ay, en una mañana de verano. In summer morning. In the summer, I go to the beach in the morning. 
In summer, I go to the beach in the morning. In el verano, voy a la playa en la mañana. Okay. Very good. Excellent. Okay. So that was it. And this is the end of the class. What did we learn today? ¿Qué aprendimos hoy? We learned the structure of simple present sentence. Can someone tell me what is the structure? Subject plus... Oh. Negative form, subject, and doesn't in the third person, the verb, complement, plus complement. Very good. In the third person singular, are he. She, she did it. 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 Mm -hmm. ¿Qué hacemos con el verbo? Um, Afirmativo. We are S. Yes. Yes. Or ES or IES. Mañana, tomorrow, we can um, do some exercises with the spelling of those verbs. And in the negative form, we use the auxiliaries. Don't don't and doesn't don't and doesn't excellent. What's your homework? That is the links. The links. Okay. The links. Yes. When you finish the exercises, take, a, take picture a picture or a screenshot and send, and send it to the group. Okay. Have a nice afternoon and see you tomorrow. Bye. See you tomorrow. It was a pleasure to see you today. <laughs>